Hello guys, today we're gonna to be talking about the pros and cons of living in a HOA community over here in Fort Myers, Florida. Stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Manny, your pool home realtor down here in the Southwest Florida with Remax Realty Team. If this is the first time on my channel, hey, welcome and consider subscribing. Why? Because I put videos about pool homes, community tours, city tours. At the end of the day, what it feels to be living down here in the southwest florida if this is something that interests you hey hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button um another thing too if you guys need something hey just give me a call send me an email or text um if that's one of you guys hey you know feel free shoot me a text or email or, you know whichever if you want to call me call me so as you guys know fort myers has you know i always say it's almost like 80 percent of uh, the housing uh, is on HOAs or Homeowners Association. Uh, Fort Myers have a lot of condos, townhouses, single family homes in HOAs, uh, as well as non HOAs, or in some of the, of the communities that are deed restricted communities. So, um, yeah, we got, you know, I have a couple of pros and cons for you guys and see if you guys saw uh, what you guys think about it. Another thing too, hey, wait until the end of this video. I'm going to give you my two tips. If you live, if you're planning to live in a community that have a homeowner association, that might going to help you a lot, uh, you know, transition and understand and, uh, uh, and, you know, know how it works and all that. So, so, hey guys, one thing though, too, put in the comments below one thing that you like about your HOA, if you live in an HOA or one thing that you don't like um, about your HOA, or if you would, you know, if you're not living in an HOA and you wish you would live in an HOA after all these pros and cons, just let me know what you guys think about the subject and uh, we go from there, okay? All right, guys, so hey, let's start with, the, with those cons. I'm gonna start with the bad thing first, uh, cause you know, we get that out of the way. I know a lot of people know uh, some of these cons. So con number one is, the HOA could be poor, poorly managed. Yep, as you know, the HOA board is made of homeowners from the community and those homeowners don't get along sometimes, you know, uh, or they don't like to spend money or they fix things that doesn't make any sense. Uh, you know, the community could run into financial issues down the line if uh, we got those type of people like that in the, in the HOA community. Uh, con number two is the HOA has rental restriction. Yep. For those who are thinking about investing over here in uh, Fort Myers, think about that. Think about, you know, um, there's going to be some areas too that are really nice to uh, buy and rent, but you guys got to know about the rental rules that the HOA may have. Uh, for example, some of them say, hey, you only could rent 30 days, 12 months. So that means that every single month you could put a tenant in it. Uh, some of them would say, hey, you only could rent, you know, three months up to 90 days. You know, uh, some of them you only could rent uh, 180 days up to six months, twice a year. So um, just check the rules and see if that apply to you. Con number three is the HOA's fees. The fees are paid on a consistent basis, like monthly, uh, yearly, if you want to pay it yearly. Uh, and these fees might go up, uh, might go down. Uh, my experience down here is the older communities or the communities have been, you know, 20, 30 years, those might go up and down a lot. Uh, you know, uh, just for example, a piece of uh, sidewalk broke or, you know, uh, the gates on the front need to get replaced. Guess what? When they replace that and they don't have enough fund to um, acquire those, um, you know, you're going to be end up spending a little bit more in HOA because, you know, they're going to, uh, you know, the bill is, you know, for example, $1,000. They're gonna spray that out to all the the, the community um, homeowners, so they would pay it out for that. So, so one thing that is really good thing on that is just make sure you get the financial for that community, and you can see you know how healthy is the community. They have um, um, reserve funds and stuff like that. So, so come number four is the the HOA sometimes have determined how you could kind of build the front of your house. Let's see, for example, if you live in a community. Uh, that doesn't have any, uh, I don't know, uh, any rock features on the front and you want to put rock features, um, you know, like uh, for decoration, you got to ask the HOA and it's up to the HOA to agree that you could put that up or not. Uh, all right, guys, so con number five, and this is a con, I bet you you guys are going to be like, yeah, none of the rules make sense. So uh, the HOA sometimes have rules that for you, it doesn't make any sense, but for them, it does. 
uh, for example, the trash can, you know, uh, buckets when uh, you got to pull out trash cans out. Um, you don't want to, you know, uh, leave the trash can two, three, four days in front of your house because then that would, you know, disturb that, uh, the appearance of the community. Another, another thing too that you might find observed is, you know, the paint, uh, you know, um, I, I cannot paint my house the way that I want it. They do have a palette of colors that you gotta, you know, select from. Uh, and mostly, you know, they have nice colors, you know, some of them, hey, you only gotta paint it this specific color. But, you know, once again, when you move in, you agree to those terms when you sign up and uh, they give you the, the rules and regulations uh, of the community. So, you know, before you buy a property in show, hey, hey, read all that, read all the um, uh, rule and regulations. Um, if you're thinking about moving into any specific HOA or community, um, see if your agent could be able to give you those paperwork ahead of time so that way you could kind of uh, um, agree to everything that the community had to offer. So, hey. turn number six, you got to add HOA dues to your budget. Whenever you're buying a house, uh, they give you a specific budget. Let's say, for example, if you have to pay a um, thousand dollars and you go to this house, this house is worth, you know, just I'm throwing numbers real quick, a thousand, a hundred thousand, and you know, your mortgage is gonna be a thousand dollars. And on top of that, you gotta add, you know, $300 of HOA. Uh, now you're 1300 so you won't be able to uh, um, you know get approved for that so your mortgage might go up a little bit more and you you know your buying power might go down a little bit uh, uh, more too as well so just keep in mind that you know uh, you got to add your HOAs due to your budget when buying a house hey now let's take away the neg negativity and let's talk about the positive of living in a HOA so pro number one the HOAs is there to help your neighborhood look good. Uh, there are rules that dictate how the exterior um, have to look. Um, you know, uh, for homeowners need to follow that up. These rules include strict guidelines about keeping your lawn manicure, restriction on parking, parking a boat, a trailer, large vehicles um, on the street. Another thing too is parking in the grass areas. Uh, that, that is a really big safety issue, Why right? One of them, you know, kids play around sometimes uh, in the streets and stuff like that. And then uh, if there's an emergency, uh, the emergency crew need to swim by really quick and have the access to go and assist those who, who is in need. So, all right guys, so pro number two, you'll have access to all the amenities. And down here in the Southwest Florida, oh my God, these communities are like resort style communities. I mean, they're beautiful. They have lots and lots of amenities from, you know, uh, golf course uh, to, you know, Olympic pools, tennis court. Um, I mean, you name it. Uh, there's some of them, they even though have uh, basketball, indoor basketball court and volleyball and, and stuff like that. The, the good thing about living in a community like that is uh, all the amenities there is theirs. That's a good thing, you know, living out of the community, you don't have that access. Um, yeah, there's some people that never gonna use any of that. And, you know, fortunately that's, uh, you know, that's a different uh, conversation. So, but there's community that offers a lot of amenities and hey, I encourage you guys use it because you pay for it. So use it. All right guys, so pro number three, the low maintenance lifestyle that some of you might have. Uh, main and costs for the community are shared among all the owners. Uh, that include, you know, some of the community lawn care and upkeep for the for the areas, um, like pool, um, you know, play areas, children play areas. Um, let me see what else. Uh, fitness centers, um, all the all the amenities. You know, you don't have to, you know, pretty much take care of it. Um, some of the communities even cut your grass too as well. So that's one less thing that you have to uh, think about it. So uh, pro number three is you live in a low maintenance lifestyles and your maintenance costs get shared through all the community. So everybody would take care of the, of the surroundings and all that. And hey, listen, there's nothing better than going to your community and have all those, uh, that nice entrance and you know, uh, nice flowers and your guard or your gate. So. Um, hey, you know, that's the pro number three, low maintenance lifestyle. 
So hey, pro number four, some of utilities are included in this HOA. For example, if you live in a, a townhouse, villas, or condo, sometimes the association would include the um, internet. Um, some of them include cable and some of the condos, they might include water. So, um, you know, in all those, you know, if you're paying $300 a month in HOAs and you're getting one of those or two, maybe cable and water, hey, you know, that's $150, $130, $200 worth of, you know, uh, fees that you are saving on it. So, um, yeah, the pro number four, depending in the community that you are, um, some of some utilities are included in that HOA price. So, and of course you got, you know, you got all the amenities too that, you know, you're going to be able to use. All right, guys, pro number five, and this is for you, um, investor that are thinking about buying something over here in the, in a community or something like that. Renters have to follow the HOA rules. If you want to rent out your property and our worries about the renter may not follow all the rules. Yeah, your renter, we have to follow all the HOA rules in addition to the lease that they sign with you. Yeah, hey, that's something that, hey, you gotta, you know, worry free um, that, you know, that they're not gonna park junk cars on the front or in the back, on the side, that they're not gonna alter uh, the paint. And, you know, hey, at the end of the day, they're gonna keep everything clean because that's what we're gonna be part of your lease. And, you know, at least you know that they're not gonna trash the place and you're gonna have a lot of, um, uh, bad stuff in your house that, you know, uh, might uh, bring down the value of yours, you know, because you don't, you know, you don't want to live next to, you know, how that is, you know, run down and they don't take care of the grass and they have a junk car on the front. So, you know, that's uh, pro number five, that the renters need to follow the HOA rules. Hey guys, living in an HOA is not that bad. Um, as long as you read all your, you know, your, your rules and regulations and, um, you know, adhere to that, um, you know, sometimes, yeah, you get like, damn, seriously, you know, I left my, my trash can for, you know, for our next morning to put up and I receive a letter, but hey, at the end of the day, they're washing and make sure they don't want any neighbors to kind of, uh, you know, start doing that because Hey, if you do it, then the next neighbor down the road will do it. The next neighbor, hey, they don't say, I will do it. So, you know, just if you're going to move into a community, read the, the rules and the regulation and make sure it's something that you could follow. Uh, tip number two is, and this is the most important tip that I'm going to give you as a homeowner living in a, in a HOA, go to the meetings, you know, be involved. Um, most of the times, whenever HOA pass rules, maybe a small crowd of neighbors go over there, they put the rules on it, so nobody else came and protest or change it or say, hey, you know, I don't like that. You know, then they pass rules and you'd be like, oh my God, I, you know, I don't like that. But what do you did as a, as a homeowner to not let that happen, you know? Be involved, be involved in your community, be involved, you see, you know, trash, pick it up, clean it, you know, um, that's the best way to maintain the price or maintain the value of your community. And at the end of the day, we all want our price to go up, right? I, I mean, I want my house to go up more. I could sell it, maybe make a profit and move to some someplace else more upscale or, you know, maybe, I don't know, buy a vacation home. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe another pool home, right? <laughs> Um, nothing guys. Hey, hope this information is beneficial for you guys. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to, you know, put something down there in the comments. Um, hey, this is just, you know, I'm putting this out there so you guys can know features and benefit or pros and cons of living in a community stuff that, uh, I mean, I bet you there's a lot of stuff out there, but at least you could have an idea. Um, at the end of the day, the community of the HOA uh, communities, um, out there just to maintain value and, um, you know, make sure your, your investment stay, uh, you know, as healthy as possible. So, uh, nothing guys, don't forget to subscribe and I see you in the next video. If this is really beneficial, if you like it, hit that thumbs up. Talk to you later guys. Bye-bye.